Hey YouTube, today we are going to be reviewing the Baffin Evolution Winter Boots. Since you guys liked my Dunlop Boots review that I did in the summer, I figured let's do one on winter boots. Now, I've had these boots for just as long as the Dunlops. So what's that, probably about seven years-ish? So what doesn't matter. What does matter is how good these boots are. Well, for starters, these boots are great for winter expeditions such as ice fishing, winter hunting, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, and anything else you would enjoy in the winter season. The boot itself is made up of timber wolf leather uppers, which are abrasion and weather resistant. Uh, and which gives it maximum durability and you're also going to need to condition that so that's a pointer the rest of the outer body is made up of uh, high friction uh, ice paws and arctic flex rubber which gives the boot uh, the traction that you require even on very slick terrain my opinion that is the biggest downfall of the dunlop boots uh, that I have the hard plastic on the boots makes it very difficult to gain any traction well, all right back on track the boot is also sealed at all the seams which I like which ensures that the weather uh, is gonna keep out now the inside of the boot is a eight layer uh, diamond light removable as you can see uh, liner which in my opinion adds a great um, great insulating powers and also uh, manages the moisture inside the boot. Do note that if you do wear these boots around the zero degree Celsius mark or 32 degrees Fahrenheit for you in the United States, your feet will start to sweat and also I would also not recommend walking on anything such as rocky terrain or pavement uh, with these boots because the sole is very soft. If you walk hard on, uh, on hard terrain, you will wear uh, out the boot a lot faster. I only wear these boots on snow and nothing else. And second, I see well. The second I see any gravel, I will switch up to my Dunlop rubber boots again. So that's what I do. Now the way this boot feels on your feet is simply incredible. Uh, well actually depending on who you ask. Uh, one thing I must point out about these boots is that they are a large boot. They do have some girth to them as you can see. Um, some people dislike that and uh, that is fine with me but to me that is not a deal breaker uh, for these boots. So if you have ever worn anything like ski boots or snow, uh, snowboarding boots, you will love the cuff design on these boots as it feels similar to a ski or snowboarding boot. The boot themselves are rated for minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 57 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to tell you, uh, I have worn these uh, all across Canada in temperatures as low as minus 47 degrees Celsius and I'm telling you my feet were very comfortably warm uh, in these boots. Even if you're stationary, like most of you know, if you don't move, um, your toes will start to get cold and then your foot and good luck getting that cold out of the boot. Um, not with these boots. I was able to sit outside for hours and not have any issues. Mind you, I was wearing wool socks as well, not those thin sports socks that uh, I know some people do wear. Now the tread on these boots are great. I don't find them to ever get clogged up with snow. Um, and with the ice paw and Arctic Flex rubber, trekking up and down hills is very nice when you're uh, confident that you won't, your boots won't slip. Like I said, at the beginning I've had these boots for probably about seven years now and the liner is showing um, no signs of wear yet. It feels very soft still, uh, air being the great insulator. Uh, with that said, as soon as you go indoors your feet will sweat. Now these boots uh, are really big uh, and that's probably why they work so well. All right, for example, these are my Timbaland Pro work boots. Uh, those are my Dunlop rubber boots and these are the Baffin boots. 
you can sure notice the difference. However, just because the boots are big, they are by no means heavy. The Baffin boot comes in at five pounds uh, between the two boots, uh, so 2.5 pounds each. The Dunlop boots, uh, they come in at 6.6 .6 pounds between the two boots. And the Timbaland Pros, uh, they also come in at five pounds as well. Uh, so with that said, I think you can say don't judge a book by its cover. Now the pros and cons uh, to these boots. Uh, let's start off with the cons. The size of the boot is not very appealing to most people. However, if you are used to large boots or have worn snowboarding boots uh, or ski boots, you will understand the feeling. Also another con with these boots being so large is that it may be difficult to find uh, pants that you can wear over top of the boot themselves. And the way I've solved this problem is by using my insulated coveralls uh, that I used to wear in the oil fields where I can zip them up uh, the pant leg over top of the boot or I will also wear my snowboarding, pant, uh, snowboarding pants which I prefer because then I have the elastic band at the bottom of the pant and I can put that around the boot and that way I know uh, there's no way of the snow entering the boot. Alright, now the positives. These boots are 100% worth the money. They are a very warm arctic boot made of very good quality and as you can see are very long lasting. Uh, there's a couple things that broke here like the eyelet here, that's not a big deal and the rubber did start to split on the one boot I noticed yesterday right here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just get some uh, shoe glue or, or something like that and seal it up. Um, even for their size though, they are very lightweight and a ridiculously comfortable boot. And on top of the comfort of the boot, I have never felt more confident walking on slick snow or ice with any other boot like I do with the Baffin Evolution Winter Boot. Uh, these boots did come in at 205 Canadian dollars, which is about 160 US dollars for the viewers down south. Uh, I know that the Dunlop boots have shot up $80 since I bought them 70 or 7 years ago. Uh, so I'm not sure about these ones, but uh, they've, they've probably gone up. Um, but again, worth the money. If you're looking for a great winter boot, I would recommend that you look into the Baffin uh, Evolution winter boots. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this cotton, hit the subscribe button. See you on the next time.